okay hello dear friends good morning so i don't know why i want to make this video i know why i want to make this video i want to see you and um, i was thinking what to talk about i had no idea at the beginning and then the ideas start to come up with so many different ideas so one thing i realized when I am close to the camera, it's a very good uh, perspective lesson, lesson about perspective. When I am here, I raise up my arm, I need to take care of my hair, and then I find my arm so big, so huge. It's, it's a question of perspective, right? If I am further away, even I do all this, I do have a big muscle, look at me. Look at me. I'm so proud. <laughs> so if I'm further away, you see the proportion right. But if I'm so close, it's just appear to be huge. Just a question of proportion. When you do some video, when you do some pictures, taking pictures, you just take care of where your proportion need to be. If you have a small nose, you need to be closer to the camera. Small eyes, closer to the camera, focus on the eyes. And if you do not have a big boob, maybe when you take picture, you position yourself the right way. And if you have too big a body part, maybe you just stay away from it a little bit. Anyway, let's make the proportion right. <laughs> Not make the proportion right, fake the proportion that uh, make it more natural. And um, so, just happy to see you. Yesterday I went to a training, teacher training. I always like to go to these trainings. And it's very energizing. No, it's not. It's energizing and uh, just give you a lot of new ideas. There are classes. There are classes more suitable for you, and you find closer to you. And there are classes further away from you, not as close as the other ones, and then you can understand better of others and understand better of yourself. Do not expect everything is just all good, good, good. First, it's not natural that everything is all good. It's artificial. If our world is composed of real people and those seminars, those trainings are arranged by real people with real character, it should be a variety of characters there. Some please you, some please you less. I think only in Market Peach or something they try to please you and make everything just so fantastic, which is very, very, very unreal and make you very uncomfortable. Maybe that is not the right way for you. Anyway, so I went to one training, the teacher, he was uh, a young guy, very smart, very young, and he was talking so, he was talking so fast and his, his thoughts cannot even reach his words. Sorry, I just cannot do that. He was talking just uh, so fast and uh, 
It makes me quite hard to process his thoughts. Maybe because I am not a native English speaker and um, I just feel so hard to, to, to catch up the source and catch up the idea and, um, and then he, he said that he's ADHD and uh, as very is very smart from the Ivy University, Ivy College, from from the most prestigious school, and uh, it's just a very smart person, but. Um, Even so smart, that person may not be the right fit for you. And I had a hard time understanding what he was talking about. And I start to find that when we talk so quick, when we have so many things in our mind happening. We cannot help to talk fast. And uh, we cannot help to get all these ideas out. Otherwise, you will miss one idea. And because uh, There is so much things happening in the brain. We do not have time to process those ideas. We do not have time to get our thoughts organized, get our idea organized, get our sentence organized. So at the end of the day, you actually try to push out much information and at the receiver end, at the receiver end, the idea was actually not pushed out or it's been pushed out but not received. Do I make sense? So it was a wonderful workshop, at least I learned a person's character. I learned a different style of presentation. Actually, in our school, there are teachers like this also. There's nothing wrong. It's uh, our society is composed of people of different character, different ability, different different traits. And our classroom should be the same, should be composed of teacher who speaks fast and teacher who speaks slower. It's just another little society. And uh, I really appreciate this young guy, he's very smart. And then I went to another workshop and I went there. I was super quiet. It was still a few minutes before the workshop starts, so it was super quiet. Nobody talks. And I move around, I look for a seat at the corner, not really corner, in the, in the back line. Put up my computer and uh, listen. Everyone was so quiet. It's kind of a scary, that quietness. And then this teacher started to talk. She started to talk, she said, 
Okay, I would like to wait until 2 o'clock sharp so that everybody, nobody missed the time. 3 o'clock sharp. 3.30 sharp. Anyway, she will wait until the exact time to get nobody miss. If you come after the design time, it's your problem. But, uh, so I actually... I was thinking, gosh, this must be a boring presentation. She's, uh, she's just uh, looks so not so 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 bumping and hopping. And then I started to stay there. Start, she started to make the presentation, and uh, she spoke not particular low voice, not a slow voice, it's just a normal speed. But I felt so good for the all presentation. Almost everybody had uh, drunk too much of energy drink or something, just uh, talking too fast. And this person, this teacher, she, she was calm and she talked each things speak out, answer each person's question, and I could even hear. She was just talking in the normal speed, in the normal standard English native speaker's speed. It's faster than what I am talking right now because I'm not English native speaker. And she was just talking in the normal speed, but there, the, it's no, not monotone, and she has, a, by nature, she has a monotone, kind of monotone, but um, she has a very interesting, snarky, interesting sense of humor, and uh, I could hear each of her words, and I could hear the grammar of her words. Do you mean what I say? I could I could hear he said I will do something or or I did something I can hear the sense and uh, plural singular sing, singular form of each sentence each words each individual words and I just feel so comfortable in that class and um, it became so interesting. I moved up my seat and to sit in the right front lane because I could not see. I had to uh, 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 to to sit in the front to see the whiteboard. And uh, it just became so interesting. So you do not have to talk fast to push out. To a lot of information because a good teacher let me make sure that I look good without lipstick I look dead So she explained the many wonderful projects she has done with students with the world. They have uh, some uh, uh, classroom project and then she posted on Twitter and got a response from all over the world, from all the, all the continents in the world. Something is just uh, very interesting. So <clears throat> what I am trying to say is that uh, <clears throat> we all are different and uh, it is the difference make us more interesting sometimes this in this difference our strengths in a certain point it's strengths but in another way it might be our weakness for example we are ADHD if a person is ADHD if a person that process cannot keep still have to move around have a lot of ideas 
and this will be wonderful for invention, for creation, and for 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 breaking out, uh, <clears throat> for breaking out, for putting some ideas out and uh, just to brave out the the way. But uh, on the other hand. If you are in such a rush, maybe you could not get your idea understood by your listeners, by your audience, by your viewers. Then there is no, there it your strength. For some people, is not a strength; is a weakness. That person obviously he has the strength of. So energetic and so fast and so much information at one time, but on my side, with our not so smart people or with our not so quick to understand grab people, with people who need time to, to, uh, instill knowledge, to instill a thoughts and idea and process the idea, digest the idea and get the idea for. Our kind of people, maybe that was a weakness, and another person who speaks slower, and um, and uh, and she might have much less information in one class pushing out, but I got much more. I am not saying one is good, one is wrong. It just. Uh, be yourself, and uh, your strengths. Be confident to be yourself. Be confident to be yourself. Your strengths in one point is strength. On the other point, on the other side, could be weakness, and your weakness could be your strengths. Never underestimate. Yourself. The most important is your character. You cannot please the whole world. I cannot please the whole world. You cannot please the whole world. I have so many people do not like me, and I have so many people who likes me. I have so many people who like me. Sorry. Yeah. So <clears throat> use your strengths and use your weakness to the fullest. Use your own character to the fullest. That is more important than chasing others, learn from others, and losing your own character. You always can learn, but never ever lose your own character. I will always learn. I will always try to push a lot of information to you. Not really. I will always try my best, but I will always try to keep my clear way of talking. Do you understand each of my words? World, I'm sorry. Sometimes I have a pronunciation problem. I I hope you can enter each of my words. You can also hear each of my grammar mistakes. Each of my grammar mistake. Gosh, <laughs> I leave something to think about. Bye, my friends. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do.